this is Sarah. And this is Omar. Welcome to the UCS B Series Solution Training Set. This is part one overview. Let's start by having a quick look at the typical data center network. Obviously, the Ethernet component is the backbone that facilitates the connectivity between hosts. The SAN component provides the path to the storage devices in a lossless manner, while an out-of-band management component secures accessibility at all times throughout the network. All these capabilities must be presented to the compute and virtualization layer, and the UCSP series being a full solution rather than a blade server delivers just that in a single integrated architecture. Let's examine the details. The 6200 series Fabric Interconnect or FI is a core part of the solution, providing both network connectivity and management capabilities for the system. The FI offers line rate, low latency, loss less than gig Ethernet, iSCSI, FCOE, and FC functions. As we see here, two FIs are connected together to form an active active cluster. There are two links between the primary and secondary that are used for cluster activities only, such as config sync and status update, and they are not part of the data path at all. In addition to the cluster's virtual IP address, each FI has one gig out of band management port which is assigned a unique IP address. It is important to know that these ports provide management connectivity to the server's KVMs as well, removing the need for any extra external cabling. The infrastructure consolidation extends to the ports in the rest of the system. A unified port can be configured as either Ethernet, which is the default or fiber channel. Within each type, there are different port modes that provide a range of functionality. Now, it's recommended to build an Ether channel from each FI up to the DC backbone. The member's ports are configured as Ethernet uplinks and behave as trunks. Similarly, the SAN uplinks are configured and connected to the DC SAN component. In case of a NAS storage, the unified port can be configured as Ethernet appliance. The UCS5108 blade server chassis is a six rack unit that can mount in an industry standard 19 inch rack and uses standard front to back cooling. A chassis can accommodate up to eight half width or four full width blade servers within the same chassis and requires no independent management component, which allows scalability up to 20 chassis per FI cluster. The UCS Fabric Extender I.O. modules provide fully redundant up to 160 gig fabric links between each chassis and the FI cluster. These 10 gig unified ports are called Network Interfaces or NIF. It is recommended to bundle these ports in a port channel as well as using adjacent ports on the FI side. The fixes provide up to 320 gig of server ports through the chassis mid-plane to the blade servers. These unified ports are called Host Interfaces or HIF. Each fix provides a separate dedicated I.O. channel for internal management connectivity from the FI down to the blade. Though the fix itself is a zero touch no switching IOM and requires no management. A range of blade servers are available to choose from. The servers feature latest Intel processors, extended memory, storage controllers, and a variety of internal storage devices, which makes the server well positioned for a wide spectrum of applications, such as big data and VDI. The UCS system provides a unified LAN and SAN connectivity to the blade server, which in turn uses a converged network adapter to present these capabilities to the hosted operation system. A converged network adapter, or CNA, provides Ethernet and FC capabilities on a single card. A Cisco Virtual Interface Card, or VIC, provides up to 80 gig of unified ports to the chassis mid-plane and virtualizes the CNA concept by presenting to the host up to 256 PCIe that can be dynamically configured as either Network Interface Cards, VNIX, or Host Bus Adapter, VHPAs. Each PCIe interface created on the VIC is associated with an interface on the FI. Subsequently, 
the FI creates a virtual interface, or VIF, to identify the originating PCIe interface and build a virtual cable through the system unified path. Cisco UCS Manager or UCSM provides unified embedded management of all software and hardware components of the system across multiple chassis and thousands of virtual machines. It presents an intuitive GUI, a rich CLI, and full set of XML APIs. The UCSM controller is embedded on each FI and the primary owns the cluster's virtual IP address. All the managed FIs, chassis, and components are part of one UCSM domain that can include up to 160 Blade servers. Within the domain, the UCSM participates in operation activities such as server provisioning, device discovery, inventory, and configuration. It also provides many reporting capabilities like diagnostics, monitoring, fault detection, auditing, as well as statistics collection. That sums up part one of UCS B-Series Solution. For more of this training set, you can check out part two, System Virtualization. Thanks everyone.